So look here, see, this is the Hisense A7G ULED TV. And this mid-tier offering from Hisense supports Quantum Dot Technology, Dolby Digital, Dolby Vision, 4K HDI. It is an LED IPS display. And the sizes range from 43 inch up to 65 inch. And this TV is full of surprises. And the first one is definitely the price. But we'll get back to that a bit later on in the video. Let's run through some of the key features first. So you've probably heard of QLED TVs in the past, thanks to Samsung. It's kind of been Samsung's answer to OLED technology. And essentially what QLED tech does is offer a broader spectrum of color. And in the case of the A7G, it can reach up to nearly 100% of the DCI P3 color gamut with over 1 billion colors. And it takes it even further with Dolby Vision. So it can achieve great peak brightness and really great details in the darker areas of the picture. And the A7G's display also supports high dynamic range. And the Hisense A7G really shows its colors when watching Dolby Vision content. For example, on Netflix, you'll really see how good it is. And this was the second big surprise for me with this TV. It was the colors and brightness when watching Dolby Vision content. It really is way better than I expected. And this TV also has UHD upscaling technology. So when you're watching HD content or even standard definition content, it's gonna be running this in real time, upscaling the picture quality closer to 4K. And there's also a dedicated sports mode with smooth motion. So when you're watching fast paced action on the screen, you won't get horrible ghosting and jitters that you might see when a footballer is moving across the screen, for example. And I can confirm that that motion smoothing software is actually very good. In the past, LED TVs kind of suffer in this area, but not this one. And here's a couple more favorite features of mine. This TV supports a variable refresh rate and automatic low latency mode. And it has a gaming mode. And the gaming mode can reduce input lag down to under 20 milliseconds, which is very good when it comes to TVs. And minimizing input lag is all important when it comes to gaming because it doesn't matter how fast your reflexes are. If you have a bad input lag, you're at a disadvantage. Now let's talk about some of the physical attributes of this TV. The bezels are very slim and have a nice brushed metal finish and it carries over to the stand, which is designed really nicely as well. It will actually allow your TV to sit very close to the wall thanks to its narrowness. And the frame of the stand also has some cable management clips on it as well, so that's nice. The onboard controls are located in the center below the notification LED light. And this consists of a single button which is the power button, but will also allow you to toggle between input sources. The inputs and outputs are located on the back left-hand side. These include a LAN input, a UHF antenna input, a satellite input, an optical out, an analog out, two USB ports, three HDMI ports that all support 4K 60 frames per second, with one of them being an enhanced audio return channel, otherwise known as an EARC port. And as you can see behind me, I've opted to put this on the wall and yes, it does support regular VESA mounts. So if you want to wall mount it, it's pretty straightforward. And when it comes to sound quality, the built-in speakers are above average. They're not going to be as good as a dedicated sound system, but they're perfect for watching TV and sports and stuff like that. But in my opinion, if you want that true cinematic experience, make the most of the EARC port on the back because that port supports full Dolby Atmos. Now the remote control, it's a classic style setup here with many dedicated streaming service buttons built in and a built in mic. And this takes me nicely onto the user interface. So if you're familiar with Android TVs, this will look and feel very familiar to you. I've been using this TV for just over a week now and I can tell you from my experience, the interface is very snappy in terms of load speeds. The way that it's laid out allows you to discover new content very easily and find your favorite apps very quickly and without too much scrolling around. And I really like how when you switch sources or streaming services, the TV will actually show you the input signals that it's receiving in the top left corner. The settings menus are easy to access and understand and I do like the preloaded picture presets. And if you want that Samsung look, you can go dynamic. But my personal favorite is the cinema day setting. So there's a lot to like about the VDU interface. And I think when it comes to user interfaces, the best ones require the minimum input, but deliver the maximum output. And I believe the VDU delivers that. Again, this is surprisingly good. Now let's talk about the performance of the display itself that I've noticed over time. So my personal preference when it comes to screen technology is OLED. With that said, QLED, definitely has its advantages, with the most obvious being the price, and the second most obvious 
is the brightness. And the A7G is definitely that. It's incredibly bright and incredibly vivid. And if you're a fan of how the Samsung QLEDs look in the showrooms, you will love the Hisense A7G. Not only because it uses similar display technology, but also because you can pick one of these up for a fraction of the price. And I've tested this display out with so many different types of content. And one of the areas that impressed me the most was gaming. The HDR makes everything visible in darker scenes and the details and the highlights are insane. And gamers will know frames win games and that 20 millisecond input lag is definitely an advantage and it's especially noticeable when I compared it to my other TVs. Another strong suit for the A7G is the colors. When watching anything bright and colorful, for example, Pixar movies, the TV will really surprise you and other people that watch it. It's actually incredibly impressive how good heavily saturated scenes look on this screen. It's surprisingly good, especially when you consider the quality versus cost. The Hisense A7G ULED TV might be pound for pound one of the best QLED bargains out there right now. And if you guys wanna check out the current price on this TV, there'll be links below so you can go check it out. And if you guys enjoyed this one, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about this TV, hit me up in the comments. I'll do my best to answer all of those. I appreciate you guys for watching this one. If you just subscribed, you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man. And I will see you in the next one, so don't be late.